Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays AI The Somnium File. Today, I, why do I keep saying file, not files? Oh yeah, that's right. We're incompetent! Why didn't you chain his feet down? Good God! I looked around the room already like, Peter, how to get away? Where's my gun? And where is it? We'll go, how to get away? He punched out an officer and stole his clothes. Okay. He put on the uniform and brought me with him at gunpoint. Well, he had the gun in his pocket, uh, hiding it. No one on the floor even knew this was happening. He got on the elevator and made it to the ground floor. He even stole my security card. Sounds like you should probably get in touch with IT and have them shut off that security card. He said he'd kill me if I tried anything. I mean... Peter, don't take this the wrong way. I think both of our lives would have been kind of expendable from letting a serial killer loose. I suppose the whole escape took him about uh, five minutes. That is not that long. He must have planned this. How? How the hell? Has he been here before? Okay. You're rather calm about all this. I'm coming down from being terrified for my life. I'm in a bit of a fugue state right now. Fugue? Okay. Uh, where my gun? Number 89 still has it. But don't worry. I have a spare. Oh, great. I'll give it to you later. Thank you. Uh, and where is 89? How would I know? After he got to the exit, he let me go. That was nice of him. I didn't see where he went. I guess he could have just shot you in the head or something. I collapsed right there. Peter's standing calmly. Bahas, help. Apologize. Boss, it's my fault he got away. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. Well, it might have been my fault. Was I in charge of chaining him up to the floor or chaining his feet? Because I feel like this is a, just a giant oversight of security all around. Don't waste time apologizing. Okay. Go catch him. Yes. I'm the one who has to go on an apology tour now. I'm sorry. <sighs> you really messed up this time. Uh, like, so summarize for me, I guess? Date, I know you are already aware of this. But there are security cameras all over this compound. That's good. We should probably let the news know. I checked all of them. So we can spread the word that there's like a serial killer going around. Maybe keep an eye out. Maybe shoot on sight. Number 89 fled in a car that was waiting for him. Okay. So he had an accomplice. Yes. Did you see who was driving? I did. Okay, let's take, take guesses here. Um, one. Renju, kind of the obvious choice there, right? Two. So. Okay, yeah, I can see that happen. Three. Iris. Okay, I have a hit me. Who was it? You and I know him well. Oh, so? Or Renju? Renju! Renju! I told Boss and Peter what I've been real to me. Renju? Why? Date, Moma is calling. Okay. Moma, from the Kumakuras? I'll connect him. Hey, Date. Yo, Moma. I just got the word. Renju's been seen. What? Where? Hey, don't forget our deal. Yeah, that comes later. Deal? What deal? You forgot already? I'm talking about Tessa. Oh, right. I'll be waiting. <laughs> you know what to do. Okay. What should we do? We have no choice. We have to take her. What? You mean now? To oh, fucking Christ. Yes. <laughs> Priorities. Lemon escape. Oh, it is past three. We were supposed to go on a date with her, right? Oh, my gosh. Oh my god, you sound like such a teenager! Listen, your 30-year-old 
date was knocked unconscious. All right, sorry. Late, 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 late. You're late. I'm going home. Never! <laughs> Have you forgotten the vows you exchanged? I've never exchanged any... Well, maybe with the receptionist in that alternate timeline. Are you drunk? She might be. No, of course not. You're drunk. How, well, how are you drunk? I kid, 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 kid. I'm kidding. Oh, you're kidding. I can't believe I'm gonna shovel forge with you. I'm getting excited. Is that what the kids call it these days? We are not shovel forging. I was talking about the date, silly. Shovel forge and a date are synonymous, apparently. I guess. So where are we going? <laughs> Yakuza gang hangout? Uh, where should I take her? What is going on? What do you mean, where should I take her? Are we not bringing her to MoMA? Date, look! It's a plant! It's a Paris de Tota Tepidariorum! Guy has a long ass fucking word! Hooray! Go, little Paris de Tota Tepidariorum! Uh, uh, what is that? <laughs> I'm not even gonna Google it, cause oh, I feel like that's Quinten Rapcone. Okay, oh, it's another gigantic name. I'm not even gonna try. You and me both, dog. <laughs> okay, Cronus, why are you giggling yourself? Well, Dante, I've been thinking. I was just like, why don't we just go to the vending machine and just get her like a candy bar? And we're like, all right, this is our date. <laughs> just sit at the stools. About what? I have my greeting ready. For what? You were asking me to say hello to the table earlier? Oh. Do you have nothing to say? Well, what is the greeting? Special. Catch a skyfish. Next From time Terraria? you have get replaced, I'm taking that one. That's a good game, Terraria. Ter if I'm not even pronouncing it right. Terraria. A good game. Every time I make it to like the second part of it, though, I just get my Sorry. ass stomped. <laughs> Usually leather. That's a loafer. Actually, another game that was in the same vein of it. Uh, S Starbound? Starforge was another one that was just other shit. But Starbound was also kind of in the same vein of it, same style. I don't know, I tried like the early beta for it and I'm like, oh, this seems good. And then I went back when it was like released and it was just laggy, just a shitty experience all around. To where the dragon is, a gangster bar, to a Yakuza office building, a really nice place. Let's be a gentleman and go to a really nice place. A really nice place. Huh? A nice place? I wonder where. I'm excited! She didn't completely understand, but I didn't have time to care. <laughs> That's my default emotion right there, summed up in one goddamn line. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't really matter what we chose, huh? Surprise, Iris! I'm selling you to the Rakuza! Sorry! Um, where are we? An office, as you can see. One belonging to the Kumakura gang. I see. A gang. You're a gang member now. I see. Hmm. This isn't nice at all. I know. This is more like mice. Like rats. Hey, mice and rats are nice, and they're cute. And they're pretty intelligent and can be trained fairly well for, you know, a creature with a brain the size of, like... I, I don't even actually know how small... There's something small enough compared to it. It's, it's small than a pea. Well, rats, I think, brains are bigger than a pea. Slightly. Mice are smaller. Oh, Tessa, come on now. I'm no rat. I'm a friend. Real suspicious for a friend. Says the lady that hangs out with fucking Oda. Don't look at me like that, Tessa. Don't get me wrong. Mama, not much better. Yakuza gang. Legal shit. You hear Renju about how he put old people in the goddamn tub so that their gang members can inherit places? That's kind of fucked up, Tessa. But welcome to this world now. That's no good. <laughs>
<laughs> Momo, I held up my end of the deal. You sure did. You want to hear about Renju? Mr. Okiura? Look, Iris, I never wanted to actually go on a date with you, but at the same time, I sincerely apologize. Sorry for bringing you here. I it's okay. It's not okay. You don't have to be scared, Tessa. You should be a little scared, Tessa. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. They literally threw old people into a tub full of hot water so they either had a stroke, high blood pressure killed them, or they drowned. Tessa, be a little scared. About as contradictory as meatless beef. This game isn't that old, so it's actually not that contradictory because there is meat. They do call beef a little bit sometimes, I guess, but, but it is meatless meat. Not really meat, but it's, what the hell is it called? It's like impossible burger beef something. Look, I'd be all up for it if it wasn't so goddamn expensive. The old boss was really violent. I'm only mildly violent. He would take a cheese grater to someone's leg if they looked at him funny. Okay. Where's the problem with that? But after I took over, we went crystal clean. Cut to the timeline where they all tried to kill me for trying to open a door. Crystal. Methamphetamines. <laughs> Okay. No, we don't do drugs. No, you might not do them, but do you sell them? We don't deal with that stuff. Okay. We had to restructure the whole operation. Cut a lot of people off. He means he cut them up into pieces and put them into a wood chipper. Cut? Their throats. No, not like that. We're gonna die, Iris. Uh, introduce MoMA. Oh yeah. I haven't introduced this old man yet. One second. Where are you? That's Mama. Huh! You are much older than me! Never would have guessed! I'm 24! That is a lie! I just looked it up, dog! You can't do that! Mama is lying. He is at least 48. Absolutely. Sorry for not introducing myself. My name is Moma Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising agency. Yeah, that's it. You run the Kumakura gang, right? You're like a mob boss. How did you know that? Because we've already been talking about it. Is he stupid? Also, yes. Uh, introduce Moma again. Moma may not look it, but he's a huge ASET fan. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. He has a figure in his vault behind his head. Don't don't touch it though. It's it's, it's sticky. Don't just don't touch it. Gambling. Back, deck, ASAP! Worries. Oh god. <laughs> uh forget Fred ASAP! Now what does she say? ASAP, you bet! Wow, my catchphrase! Thank you! <laughs> This, this is kind of embarrassing. Yeah, no, you're right. But sorry, MoMA. I don't like gangsters. You're gonna have to retire, MoMA. <gasps> <laughs> I don't like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. <laughs> We're gonna come back to this place in like a week, and it's just gonna be burnt to a, the ground from MoMA. All those nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? <laughs> Yeah? Uh, did we look around the- we haven't looked around the room yet. <laughs> Let's look around the room real fast. Lanterns. Hey, yeah. Iris. What do you think of when you see two lanterns pushed together? One second. Two lanterns pushed together. Are you trying to say they look like breasts? Pushed together? Cause I'm trying to think of the most pervious thing you could possibly say involving two lanterns pushed together. And honestly, I don't see it. Huh? I mean, it kind of looks like something, right? Like an ass cheek, maybe? Uh, not really. No, no, really. Picture two lanterns pushed together, and you put your face between them. 
Honestly, I actually can't picture that at all. There's something that reminds you of? Lanterns. What, you mean boobs? Damn it, MoMA. You're not supposed to say it. You want her to say boobs? Tessa, say boobs. Please? No? Okay. They don't really look like boobs. I, okay, there might be boobs out there that kind of look like this. That's probably actually true. But at the same time, I've never seen any that look like that. So, I yeah, I don't know how that would be the default expression. Yeah, I don't know. Not, de not default expression, but like comparison. Because honestly, it's just not, not, not it. Anything else? Uh, partition, yeah. Uh, uh, more partition. Hey, Tessa, let's have a party. No, thanks. Aw. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for the green. Maybe something over here, though, that... Oh, yeah, like the sofa. How many cows did they kill for this? <sighs> Two. Big ones. Uh, it's a fake? You're a fucking liar. <laughs> Poor thing. What you did to that tiger is awful. I'm gonna say that one is probably fake, because it is gigantic. And I know tigers get pretty big, but I don't think they get... I don't know, maybe maybe the perspective's off for me, but it doesn't look like it would be the proper size for a tiger. Oh, that's fake. I would actually legitimately hope, because tigers are kind of like... They're not in danger. Well, some are. Actually, some are extinct, but at the same time... And look, a UFO! It's an ashtray. That's an ashtray. Or an ass tray. You gotta sit on it. Call it Ass Wednesday. Shut up, that was funny. I don't care, I don't care what you I don't care what you say. Restaurants will take forever to fill your bottomless drink order. So order them all up front. <laughs> what? <laughs> so what do you, what do you I would like five bottomless drinks, please. Hot spring? Hey! Is that like a date? Like we all go to a hot spring? Alright, so, uh, about Renju? What happened to Mr. Okira? No, oh, well, he's gonna die. By my hands, hopefully. I heard he escaped the hospital. So did I. But I don't know anything more than that. Please tell me. Renju's escape from the hospital was strange. Three things struck, uh, stuck out at me. I laid out the facts. Uh, Mizuki was lured to a place where Shoko's body was found by a message sent from Renju's phone. I found Iris' body in the Greater Fishery Gold Storage Warehouse. She made a miraculous recovery, apparently, and got a haircut and a breast reduction. Early today, Renju fled for with a prison a prisoner escaping a life sentence, an assassin named 89. Hold up. What were you saying about Tessa's dead body? Don't worry about that. Oh, well. Date saw a parallel world with my dead body in it. Yeah, that's it. A parallel world? Never heard of it? Oh, yeah, of course I am. Yeah, yeah, right. Parallel worlds and all that shit. Yeah. I don't use this term, like, ever, because it's kind of dumb. But, dog, you are... You are a total goddamn simp. I don't understand it, but I suppose he does. Good, because I don't feel like explaining it. <laughs> But why would Mr. Okira do that? I don't know. He could be a hostage or an accomplice. Hmm. Either way, I need to find him. I was just standing there, wondering where she went wrong in her life. Oh, desk. Dessa, if you're tired, you can sit on my desk. Don't do that. On your desk. Don't, don't do that. I know it's just the desk, but at the same time, just don't, because I have a feeling when we left, he would be, like, licking that part of the desk, all right? Uh, that's an expensive-looking ring. Why do you care? 
Can I have it? What? Can I have the ring? <laughs> Why would I? Are we give blackmailing him? Hey, can I have the ring? Absolutely, of course you can. Here, take it. Good lord. Wait, 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 wait. No, I, I can't give you this. You're so cheap. Oh, 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 Moma! Come on, it's not like you're losing it. It's exactly like I'm losing it. It is actually exactly like that. Aww. You guys are a good team. Like siblings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are you goons? They're out. Looking for Renju. Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. Good point. All right, Moma. Uh, Renju's tip. You said on the phone that you saw Renju. Yeah, I had all my people looking for him. So, tell me where he is. Hmm, I could. Hey, I held up my end. And really complicated Tess's I brought life. I Iris like you asked. Date, come here. If you ask me to make her kiss you, I will shoot you. Date... I don't quite know how to ask this, So don't, Moma. Can you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? Is that it? Yeah, okay, I guess. You're not gonna, like, lick your hand. You're wearing gloves too, dog, right? Oh, that's it? Sure. Well, when I broke our huddle. Tessa, Iris, could you Iris. Do me a favor? touch his hand. A favor? He, uh, he wants to see your boobs. What the fuck, dude? I didn't say that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what I meant was, he wants to shake your hand. A little different. Oh, a handshake. Sure. I would never show my boobs. Yeah, I, I mean, that's good. Dante, this is the happiest day of my life. It feels good to be the boss. <laughs> it's good to be the king. So how about it? All right, here it goes. Renju was seen in two places. First, Sunfish Pocket, the maid cafe. Okay. Second, Ikume Shrine. Okay. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. One of those Got makes it. sense. Oh, but I guess... Falco Punch Man, he he was at the, the shrine way back in the day? No problem, bro. Really. Right? Moma, uh, you know what? Tessa summarized me. I don't know why I'm calling you Tessa, anyway, not Iris. Moma, take care of Iris for me. We're leaving her here? What? What? Wait! You're leaving me here? You'll be safe with him. That is very unlikely. <laughs> we are taking Iris home. Are you serious? Look at his face. Not <laughs> to mention he runs a crime syndicate. This is absolutely true. What if he sells me to the highest bidder? I mean, to be fair, he'd probably get a lot. Tessa, I would never do that. I told you, we're clean now. And he's also a complete liar. We all go home on time. We follow government regulations. That's bullshit. Even clean businesses don't do that. See ya. Wait! What about Shovel Forge? I told you I never promised to play with you. We will play Shovel Forge at some point. But you promised me a date. D date? Is this true? No, I promised her a date. She just read it as date. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Did he just pull out a gun on me? I'm gonna ignore that. Good idea. Date, you're gonna look for Mr. Okiura, right? Take me with you. If you do, I'll tell you about last night. Her late night visitor. Oh, okay. I was about to say, why would I why would I care what you did last night? Kind of forgot about that. Yay! Dante, don't ignore me. A clean gang. <laughs> oh, that's just a toy. Yeah, it only pretends kills people. Oh. Oh, just a toy. Can she shoot you with it? <laughs> Let's leave them alone for a while. I thought, I thought we were leaving. 
Sunfish Pocket, and Kumi Shrine. I want to go to the warehouse, too. Okay. Where you found my dead body. Something bothering you? She probably wants to see herself dead. No, I'm just curious. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, God. Can we eat somewhere? Okay. I didn't think that was like a hunger sound. I thought you just crapped yourself, all right? Food sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. Oh, my chest hurts. You're getting hard to breathe. Why? Oh, because of the date? Oh, don't worry about it, dog. I don't even want to be on the date with her. She's making me. What was that? What was green there? Chair. Jimin's chair. All right. Uh, let's go to the warehouse. We're going to go to the diner. Oh. oh, I guess that wouldn't make Oda jealous, though, so let's do that first. Wait, this place doesn't even open. Right? They're closed down? Ah, I'm so hungry. T Tessa? Why are you here? We're on a date, Oda. I told Date I was hungry, so... I've always wanted to eat here. I'll have my usual, Ota. Yes, right away. Oda flew into the kitchen. Iris watched him go and took a seat. I don't know where Mimi jumped out with a knife and stabbed Tessa. Date, you're drooling. What? Oh. Just really hungry. <laughs> uh, oh, that's Payashi Samba's Hayashi Vangole. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Who? That's probably another reference that I'm forgetting or I just don't know. Uh, menu. Roda Kazuaki's grilled tongue with salt. That sounds awful. Salt. Pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Mayumi's juice with mold. <sighs> okay. All right. Don't say what just popped into your brain. She's not that old, so it shouldn't be moldy. But still... That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Table? Shit. Where? Oda? I mean, he's just he's just short for a 24-year-old. That's just a stool. I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. His dad was probably a goddamn alien. Did you see that, dude? Meow. Huh? What are you doing? He's meowing! Oh, you don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. Really? Meow? Guess I'll have good luck! So he's just making them stupider, right? Hey, Date! Or is that an actual I thing? this video of girls in bikinis washing this armored car. Wanna watch? Mm, no? Absolutely not. At the very least, not with you. Uh, beer cases. Alright. Stool. Bucket. Hey, Tessa, could you kick that bucket there? Uh, sure. Like this? Yeah, but more. Like this? <laughs> this is awesome. Why is it awesome? I did not realize there was someone more perverted than Date. Oh, does he have a step on me fetish? I don't know what that fetish is called. But I know a lot of people on the internet seem to fucking have it. Especially when that Resident Evil game came out. Counter? Anything back here aside from Oda? No. Ring ring, who's on the phone? Who cares? Good idea. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's that's how I ignore all my phone calls too. Date, wanna have a pillow fight? Sure. Uh, Tessa, not 
not in the store, please. Let's definitely do it now. Nothing. Oh, fortune. I'll take your word on it that it says good luck, man. Hey, what has two hands on its face? <sighs> I don't know. Me? A mom playing peekaboo! I mean, you're right. Uh, yeah, exactly! What was the real answer to that, Oda? You're not gonna tell me? Alright. Look, a chair for baby goats! It's actually a chair for Oda. Why would anyone bring a goat to a restaurant? To eat it? Like, bring your old meat or something? I don't know. Alright, well, I guess we'll talk to these two next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all then. Bye.